As you can see, I'm absolutely jacked right now, but you're probably thinking, how did that man get such guns like these? Well, I'll tell you my secret. This is my secret. The Switch. The Nintendo Switch absolutely got me ripped beyond my yokes. So today I wanted to go over workout games on the Nintendo Switch. Which ones work and which ones don't work out. Of course, when you think about Nintendo Switch and exercise, you think of Ring Fit Adventure. So let's strap it up. This game uses the Ring Con, a Nintendo Switch accessory made for just this game. It's a stiff and flexible ring you squeeze to feel it in your biceps, chest, shoulders, and glutes, also known as resistance training. And with the strap tied to your thigh, you'll be able to work your thighs, ankles, toes, and legs, giving you a good cardio workout. So let's get started on our first workout game, Ring Fit Adventure. But first I should clarify, I'm gonna be working out with several Nintendo Switch games and I'll be playing them for half an hour each and taking a break in between the games to let my heart rate come down so that I don't get burned out too quickly. The way I'll be tracking my fitness is using my Apple Watch, which will tell me the amount of calories I've burnt within that 30 minutes. I can then determine how useful this game is and which Nintendo Switch game you should play to burn the most calories the fastest. And all workout games will be tracked with the Apple Watch's gaming fitness option. All right. Back to the games. When I was trying to lose weight back in January of this year, I would play VR boxing, other VR sports games, and sometimes I wouldn't even use video games to work out, and I'd do it the old fashioned way, just by going to the gym. But what really intrigued me was Ring Fit Adventure, the adventure RPG that allowed you to exercise and of course, lose weight. So I picked it up. Though I really wanted to get invested in this game and the story behind it, I found it difficult to stay motivated. But I blame myself entirely for that because I feel like this game does a phenomenal job at keeping your attention and enticing you to come back. This game allows you to level up, customize your character, and of course, get stronger physically and virtually. I just stopped playing because back then, my heart was with VR boxing and Apple Fitness. So opening up the game again, we can see I'm already on day four, which means I've turned it on a whopping four times. And apparently I'm actually on the second world boss. And just in the first few minutes, I remember the pain of this fitness game. Most of the time, you'll be fighting bosses like this and doing intense workouts like squats, overhead pushes, knee to chest exercises, you name it. And it's hard work. In hindsight, I shouldn't have told the game I wanted it to be a little harder, but I did. And that's okay, because in the first 15 minutes or so, I actually started feeling good. Tired, but good. And I can already tell, this is the most unique fitness game the Switch has to offer, or is it? So let's look at the results after just half an hour of playing this game. I burnt 161 active calories, 213 total calories, and my average heart rate was 94. Next we have Fitness Boxing 1 and 2, the fitness game you've seen but never bought, because boxing with these 50 gram controllers should get me jacked beyond my imagination right? Well, I guess we'll find out. Thankfully, there's demos for each of these games, so you don't need to flush money down the toilet just to try these out. I'm just going to be playing Fitness Boxing 2 because, well, why would you play the first version of the game when there's a sequel? Sequels are always better. Let's play Fitness Boxing. Oh look, this game is published by Nintendo. I actually didn't know that. It starts with you going through a tutorial on how to extend your arms in a fighting manner, or, um, you know, how to throw hands. The proper position and everything else you need to know that may be important. But let's just get going on the game. The first round wasn't very difficult. As I played a few more rounds and got a higher level, things started to get a little more intense. After increasing the difficulty, I was actually feeling a sweat building. This game can also help you create fitness plans and help motivate you to come back as well. You can even change your trainer and give them new cosmetics. But yeah, definitely after a while, I, I, was, I was actually sweating quite hard. I am, uh... I'm actually sweating a bit. I'm actually sweating. The active calories I burnt in this game were 215 active calories, 267 total calories, and the average heart rate was 101, which is higher than Ring Fit Adventure, but we'll come back to those results. Next we have Zumba Burn It Up. Well, okay, I guess. This game feels like the $2 fitness game that everyone had on the Wii because they were too cheap for the good stuff. I've seen this game around all over the place, but I didn't hate myself enough to try it out. So let's try it. Oh no. Please no. I hate dancing. Even as a kid, I would skip out on all the school dances because I was way too cool for that stuff. Instead, I would show my friends how many golden flagpoles I got in Super Mario 3D Land on my 3DS because like I said, I'm cool. But fine, let's try this game out. I guess I'm gonna be dancing for half an hour. It's just a good thing my room has a door. Installing locks is my next mission. Let's set it up and set it to the highest intensity. Oh no. Oh gosh, please don't make me do this. I could physically only stand two minutes of this. I burnt 9 calories and 12 calories total. My average heartbeat was 79 BPM. I'm sorry to all you Zumba fans, but I just could not. Yeah, this game is horrible. <laughs> Listen, I just can't move my body in that way. I think I'd rather get caught watching anime. <laughs> this game is literally just some green screen people dancing, and I literally couldn't do it. And then my worst fear happened. 
This is why I need locks. But seriously, what's the gameplay part in this? I'm essentially just watching a workout video. And who's the guy that keeps popping up in the corner? It's definitely not me. Well, now that Zumba's done, what's next? No! So here we have Just Dance, the game that was released annually on the OG Wii all the way until 2020. Because that's how popular this game is, made by our friends over at Ubisoft. I remember my family members playing this on the Wii, I could never build the courage to play it myself, but I do remember that there were some jams and a Super Mario dance. So today I'm going to be once again keeping my door closed while recording myself like an idiot and questioning why I decided to do this. Anyways, let's tap start on the good old calorie counter and start playing for 30 minutes. You can definitely tell, this is the highest quality dance game there is just by opening the game. And because we're on the Switch, we can use the Joy-Con gyro features to play and track our motion. I will say, you have to give props to Ubisoft for making this game look smooth and having high resolution graphics, at least in the menus. Because <laughs> when you're in the game, you can tell the video file or characters dancing is heavily compressed so they could fit it on a cartridge and have it running smoothly on the Switch. Even by looking at other console versions, these graphical changes are apparent. But let's do what the game says and just dance. Okay, I don't want to do what I did with Zumba, but I just can't bring myself to put all this energy into actually dancing because I just can't do it, nor do I want to try. So instead, I'm going to be swinging the Joy-Cons in the right direction I think it wants me to swing it in. I'm pretty much tricking the game into thinking I'm dancing when I'm not. But even just by swinging the remote, I do feel a bit of a workout. But I just want to make it clear, I understand the appeal of this game. I actually think if I was interested in dancing at all, it would be one of my favorite games by far. It's a fun game that you level up in and compete with yourself and others to get the highest score. And it's satisfying to finally reach a better score than the last time and noticeably seeing your improvement. It's also really fun being able to pull off new moves that you weren't able to do for the longest time. And not only that, but you have some admittedly catchy songs all at the same time. And it's for these reasons that I love the game Rock Band. I'm a musician and I write music and to have that on a video game is satisfying even if it's only with plastic instruments. But all that to say, if you like dancing at all and you really want a fitness game, I would recommend Just Dance to you. But I would also recommend it to you if you enjoy having ads thrown in your face because in this game you can pay money to get a variety of songs and dances from previous Just Dance titles. Pac-Man. Anyways, here are my results for this game. Again, keep in mind, I genuinely didn't put that much effort into it and you'll most likely get better results than me. I burned 170 active calories, 222 total calories, and my average heart rate was 80. Now we have the not so obvious workout games, Mario Sports Games. You may be thinking, how do you work out with Mario Sports Games, silly pants? Well, these puppies, Joy-Cons. Some Mario Sports Games have motion controls, so only those games we can play and count as workout games. So let's get rid of Mario Strikers, Mario Party, and Mario Kart. Okay, so these are the only two Mario games that you could consider workout games on Switch. It's too bad Super Mario DDR wasn't on the Switch. So let's get the blood flowing using these motion controls with these two games. First, let's try Mario Tennis Aces. Okay, so just like Zumba, I don't see much of a point in this Super Mario Sports game for fitness, because there's not that much working out, and you're not really trying that hard. So instead, I'll just move on to the next game, which should get us similar results, and that's Nintendo Switch Sports. At first glance, you might not consider this a workout game, but hey, me neither. But every sport inside revolves around motion controls. I remember when the game first came out, I would get a little sweaty after playing especially when playing for a few hours. And of course, it depends on which sports you're playing. Obviously, if you play an hour of bowling, it most likely won't burn that many calories at all. So we are going to dodge tennis, skip bowling, and pass on volleyball because it's just not as active as the other sports. And instead, I'll be playing badminton, chambara, and soccer. And when I play soccer, I'll be using the Joy-Cons and the leg strap simultaneously to get the most physical activity out of this as I can. So for this, I'll just play 10 minutes of each sport. And I'm back in the game, and it feels like April again, because that's when the game came out. And I haven't touched it in a while. So it's pretty cool to see some of the new features. We will start off our journey with badminton. This game has gotten a little more frustrating, and I may need to build my virtual badminton chops a bit more. Unless my secret ultimate plan works, of course. Badminton hacks. Welcome back, my sweet plastic accessories, which I paid too much for. You're finally useless once again. Does plastic accessories help? Uh, no. But I do think with a tad of added weight to the Joy-Con, we might be burning just a little more calories than if we weren't using them. Next is our friend Chambara. We already have advantage in this one because, again, we have plastic accessories. The Hecking Sword. And wow, it works! But 
What if we use two? Some dual wielding action. Well, I'd use two swords, but the problem is I don't have two, so I'm gonna be using the golf club instead. This will have to do. The power of the golf club Come is perhaps on. leagues ahead of any Chambara technique. Now the one that will most likely be the most worked, soccer. What's even better is that you don't need to use two Joy-Cons. You can use the leg strap to kick and the Joy-Cons to artificially have the sensation of jogging. Now in total, my active calories were 142, my total calories that I burnt was 193, and my average heart rate was 85. And now for the final game, we have arms. The game that your funny uncle might see and say, <laughs> that's great, but well, what about feet? <laughs> and then you tell him not to get up in arms about it. I can only assume this game will give us similar results to fitness boxing, because all you're really doing is punching the air. This game is just arms at the end of the day. And to be honest, it's not my favorite game. The concept when it came out was really neat, and it was fun back then. But now it's just kind of boring. And the most working out you do is obviously with the motion controls, but obviously the gameplay doesn't thrive off of them. It's far more fun playing this with button controls. The motion controls are decent, but are definitely not as responsive as you'd want them to be in a fighting game such as this. So a majority of my working out in this game was just me getting frustrated when my inputs wouldn't register. And the workout you get from playing this game doesn't make you sweat or work hard at all. You'd be better off playing the game with button controls and running and jumping on the spot. But now that I'm done, let's check the results. As you can see, the most calories burned was actually Fitness Boxing 2, which I can understand. All of the games I played today, you were most continuously active for that 30 minutes. And actually, next is Just Dance? This doesn't seem right. Apparently Just Dance burned more calories than Ring Fit, even with me not trying. Even though my average heart rate was higher on Ring Fit, and it definitely felt like more of an intensive workout, it didn't burn as many calories according to my tests. The worst was Zumba, but that's because I could only stand playing it for two minutes. So let's not count that. So the actual lowest result from a game was ARMS, which makes sense. I was clearly just not into that game as much as the others, not including Zumba. Which raises a good point. The actual best workout game would be whichever one makes you want to keep playing and continue being active instead of booting up once in a while and never touching it again. But again, depending on which game you play and which games you like, that can determine how many calories you actually burn. So that was the world of fitness games on Nintendo Switch. Let me know if you've played any of these games and if you've seen good results from them. If you want to see more videos from me, you can click here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can click here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.